Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris from Weebly Tricks, and today I'm going to show you how to create breadcrumbs for your Weebly blog. Now this video tutorial will follow the written step-by-step -step tutorial that can be found on Weebly Tricks, and I will post a link to that written step-by-step -step tutorial in the description of this video. Okay, now uh, real quick, what are breadcrumbs? Uh, to put it simply, breadcrumbs are a, uh, a secondary navigation that um, allow your visitors to um, know what page they're on, what page they came from, um, and as well as the option to go back to the page they came from. Uh, it's just a, a way to um, allow your visitors to, uh, to keep your visitors from getting lost so easily on your while navigating your site. So, um, and for this particular tutorial, we're gonna create breadcrumbs for Weebly's blog page, okay? So this is a, a quick view of the demo site we'll be using for this tutorial. Okay, it's just a Weebly blog page, and there are two blog posts on it. There's the first one, and there's the second one. All right, so let's begin. Step one, open Weebly's HTML CSS editor. All right, go to your site, and at the top, click on theme. And on the bottom left, click on edit HTML forward slash CSS, and that'll give us access to Weebly's HTML CSS editor. Okay, step two, create a new page layout. Back to the Weebly editor. All right, on the left here under header type, choose um, the page layout that you want to um, that you want to use as a model for this new page layout that we're going to create. So. Since we want um, our new page layout to have a banner image, we're going to choose the header page layout to copy. Um, if, you, if your blog doesn't have uh, a banner image, then go with the no header page layout. But Or if you have uh, additional page layouts here, you can choose them as well. But for this particular tutorial, we're going to copy the, um, the header page layout for our new page layout. So on the right, actually it's on the left, I'm uh, clicking on header.html. And on the right, we're going to select all the coding of the HTML codes within this file. Copy it. On the left, uh, under header type, hit the little plus icon. Select new header type. And then we're going to type in blog. Okay. It locks the name in. On the right here, delete all of the codes that come with that new page layout. And then paste in the codes that you copied from your chosen uh, page layout model. All right. Let's see. There's the, uh, the codes we copied from the header.html page layout. Okay. Step three, add HTML codes. All right, so now we're just going to add the uh, the breadcrumbs HTML codes. So select the, the HTML, I'll say, select and copy the HTML code in the written tutorial. Back to the Weebly editor. And under your new page layout here, under blog.html, on the right, scroll down until you find the main content area. And for this particular theme, it's right here. These are the codes for the main content area. I'm going to paste the code I just copied from the written tutorial directly above this highlighted code. So I'm going to make some space here. Paste in that code I copied. Okay, and I'm going to tighten that up a bit. And um, say as well, so for your particular blog, what you would then do is um, grab the URL of your blog page, and, <clears throat> excuse me, and you're going to um, replace this URL in the code that you copied with the URL of your blog page. Step four, add CSS codes. Copy the CSS codes in the written tutorial. Back to the Weebly editor. On the left under styles, click on main.less. And on the right here, we're going to scroll down to the main content areas codes. And they should be directly below, below the banner codes. And here they are. Okay. So here's the banner codes. Here are the main content area codes. And I'm going to make some space in there. And I'm going to give a title. I'm just call it breadcrumbs. So I can easily reference these codes if I come back 
into this file in the future. Another space, and I'm just gonna paste the codes that I copied, the CSS codes that I copied from the written tutorial in here. And if a red dot appears, you can just delete that. And I'm gonna tidy it up a bit. Scroll down so you can see all the code that I pasted in. All right, so you can see here all the codes that I just pasted in from the written tutorial. Step five, add jQuery codes. Select and copy the jQuery codes in the written tutorial. Head back to the Weebly editor. On the left, under assets, click on custom.js. And uh, directly beneath the, the line that says jQuery, uh, um, parentheses, function, uh, parentheses, dollar sign, closing parentheses, closing parentheses um, opening, or open curly bracket, opening curly bracket. Give yourself some space underneath there, and you're going to paste in the jQuery code that you copied from the written tutorial directly below this line. Okay, and I'm going to tidy this up as well. Right. Click save. All right. And the final step, um, apply the blog page layout. So back to the Weebly, sorry, back to the Weebly editor, go to pages at the top. Um, on the left, select your blog page. And under header type, um, you're going to choose the page layout that we just created, which is the new blog page layout. Select that. And you can see that our breadcrumbs have appeared directly above the first blog post um, on our blog page. Now let's publish our site and see how it works. Okay. All right, so go to the blog page. Okay, so here's our blog page live. And remember I said that there were two blog posts on it. There's the first one, there's the second one. And we can see um, our breadcrumbs are here. All right, so we click on blog. You know, it takes us to the blog page. It's kind of just like a bookmark for the, the main blog page. Now, let's say I want a click, scroll down, and I click on the title of the first blog post. Watch what happens here um, following blog. Watch what come. Watch what appears after the word blog. Okay, I don't know if you can see that because it's kind of small. Um, I could have made the font size bigger, but um. You can see that the title of this first blog post has appeared directly after the blog, the blog text. Okay, and as I scroll down, you can see we're actually inside um, the first blog post. Okay, so being in here, we can see that we're in the first blog post, and we were originally in the blog page, the main blog page. Now let's say I want to go back to the main blog page. I just click on blog, and we're back on the main blog page. Okay, now let's try that with the second blog post. Okay. You can see that with the breadcrumbs, it just says blog. Scroll down. Here's the second blog post. Click on that. And we are now inside of the second blog post. And our breadcrumbs are working just fine. You can see that the title of the second blog post um, comes after, automatically appears after the blog text. So we know where we are on this um, on this particular blog page. Okay. If I click the uh, title of this blog post is just going to stay on this page. But if I'm going to go back to the main blog page, click blog, and there we are. All right, guys. So that is how to create breadcrumbs for your Weebly blog.